To the old champion leader and trophy bearer, old St. George, do we offer a hymn of praise? This is a day of resurrection, let us be radiant, O people. Pasta, the Lord's pasta, for Christ our God has passed us from death to life and from earth to heaven. We who sing the song of victory, glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. Let us lend our senses that we may behold Christ who gleams like lightning in the unapproachable light of the resurrection. And we shall clearly hear him say rejoice as we sing the hymn of victory. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. It is worthy for the heavens to rejoice and the earth to Rejoice with me, my Lord, rejoicing, for Christ is the Almighty and has risen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. Those in the tomb, he bestowed life. See how we come of in vain, and I'm what, 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 the animal in mode, what, what, He bestowed his life. Verily, Jesus is risen for the tomb as yet foretold, and had bestowed life eternal upon us and great mercy. Now what our God and through the sky, glory the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and in the age of ages. Let's rise early at morn at the break of dawn, and let us instead of fragrant ointment bring pure praise to the Master. Let us behold Christ who is the Son of Righteousness, bringing life unto all. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. O I say who in Hades bonds are chained, seeing thy boundless loving kindness, hasten with light feet, celebrating an eternal Pascha. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever. For to meet Christ risen from the tomb as we would a bridegroom. Let us celebrate in the peace loving ranks the saving Pascha of our God. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and of those in the tomb he bestowed his life. Messiah will come in vain and let one to all. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and on those in the tomb he bestowed his life. Verily, Jesus is risen from the tomb as he foretold and hath bestowed life eternal upon us and great mercy. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. All into remembrance, Lord, all in the earth, all in the three of our brothers, and ever for the name of your Son, say, all the saints, let us commend us. 
ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Now the good God and of his mankind and his life, glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now to age of ages. Amen. O Christ, in the deepest abyss of earth, thou didst descend, in its breaking and yielding everlasting bars which held men prisoner, and on the third day thou didst rise from the tomb as Jonah from the whale. Thou didst not break the locks of virginity in thy birth, didst rise from the tomb, keeping its seal intact, and it's open to us the gates of paradise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O oh, my Savior, O thou that in unsacrificed offering, as thou art God, thou didst of thy free will offer thyself an offering to the Father, and when thou didst rise from the tomb, thou didst raise Adam and all his race with thee. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and of those in the tomb he bestowed his life. Messiah will come amin bain al amwat, wa wadi al mobil mot. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down dead by dead, and on those in the tombs he bestow his life. Verily, Jesus is risen from the tomb, as he had foretold that he so life to turn upon us and great mercy. For Christ alone did descend with condescension to the fight Hades, and he ascended, bringing the abundant spoils of victory which he had snatched. Mary the Magdalene and the rest of the women who were present at the Savior's burial on Friday evening returned that very day from Golgotha to the city to prepare ointment and spices, that they might come later and anoint the body of Jesus. They rested the next day, Saturday, in fulfillment of the commandment. And on the following day, which was Sunday, and which the evangelists call the first day of the week, which fell on the 25th of March, or 36 hours after the death of life-giving Jesus. The women came to the sepulchre with their prepared ointments, 
And as they were pondering the difficulty of rolling the stone from the gate of the sepulcher, a great earthquake took place, an angel of the Lord came down, whose appearance was like lightning and his clothes like snow, and rolled away the stone and sat thereon. The guards who trembled with fear became like dead and fled. But the women entered the sepulcher and found not Jesus. But they found two other angels in the form of men dressed in white raiment, who proclaimed to them the resurrection of the Savior, commanding them to hasten and give the good news to the disciples. In the meantime, Peter and John, who had received the report from Mary the Magdalene, hastened and re entered the tomb and found there only the linen cloths. They returned with great joy to the city and began to preach the supernatural resurrection of Christ, having seen him alive in truth five times that very day. For this joyful resurrection we therefore celebrate today, kissing one another in Christ with a brotherly kiss, illustrating thereby the dissolution of the enmity that was between us and God, and our reconciliation through Christ. This feast was called Pascha, from the Jewish name, for Christ, by his passion and resurrection, translated us from the curse of Adam and the bondage of Satan to the ancient liberty and bliss. As for the day of the week, which is called in Hebrew the first day, being dedicated to our Lord for his glorification and magnification, it is called in Greek Kyriaki, or the Lord's Day. The disciples transferred to it the dignity of the Sabbath after the law of the Old Testament and prescribed that it be a holiday and a day of rest. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. And that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one, thy cross to wear the world, Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee. We call upon thy name, O come, holy faithful. Let us, Lord Christ's holy resurrection, for lo, through the cross of joy come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection, for in that he endured the cross for us, he had destroyed death by death. And that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one that cross to adore, O Christ. In thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify, for thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee. We call upon thy name, O come, holy faithful, let us, Lord Christ, this holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross of joy come into all the world, ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection, for that he endured the cross for us, he had destroyed death by death. And that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ. Let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one, thy cross to adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee. We call upon thy name, O Kamali faithful. Let us, the Lord Christ, this holy resurrection. For lo, to the cross of joy come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he endured the cross for us, he had destroyed death by death. Verily, Jesus is risen from the tomb, as he had foretold and had bestowed life eternal upon us, and great mercy. Verily, Jesus is risen from the tomb, as he had foretold and had bestowed life eternal upon us, and great mercy. Verily, Jesus is risen from the tomb, as he had foretold and had bestowed life eternal upon us, and great mercy. He who did save the children from the furnace when he became man, Suffered like unto a mortal, and with his sufferings invested the mortal with the beauty of incorruption. Who is the God of our fathers? To him alone be blessing and glory. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. O Christ, the godly wise women with their minds did hasten with the ointment after thee. And he whom they saw mourning him they now worship with joy the living God. And to the disciples they told the glad news of the mystical Pascha. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. We celebrate the death of death, the destruction of Hades, the first fruit of another and endless life. And as we leap with joy, we praise the cause of these good gifts. And God of our fathers, blessed and glorified be he alone. El Mesdur Levi Walibni Waru El Kudus, El Anawakullah Wani Noila Dahri Dahirin Amin. In 
in truth, how noble is this radiant and all festal night of salvation, for it preceded the proclamation of the light-bearing day of resurrection, in which the timeless light did shine forth bodily from the grave. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. Oh, no. 
Jesus is risen from the tomb as he had foretold and has bestowed life eternal upon us and great mercy. And again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. All in remembrance of our holy magnet, most blessed Lord, be thou, the Lord, the Savior, all the saints, as to make our friends and brothers, alive in Christ our God. Kingdom of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. What is that that Ila, we have been no protesting in Hakar Rami, the Theotokas and Mother of the Light, let us honor and magnify His song. Magnify, O oh my soul, him who died of his own free will and was buried, and then rise from the tomb on the third day. Shine, shine, New Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord hath risen upon thee. Rejoice and exult now, Zion, and now of your one day, O Tokos, rejoice at the resurrection of thy Son. Magnify, O oh my soul, the life giving Christ who is risen from the tomb on the third day. Shine, shine, New Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord hath risen upon thee. Rejoice and exult now, O Zion, and the O pure one, Theotokos, rejoice at the resurrection of thy Son. Verily, Christ is a new Pascha, living sacrifice, the Lamb of God who beareth the sin of the world. Oh, how noble, oh, how dear, oh, how sweet is thy voice, O Christ, for thou hast verily made us a true promise that thou shalt be with us to the end of time, a promise to which we believers hold and an anchor for our hopes as we sing Today the whole creation rejoice and is glad, for Christ is risen in Hades, he had the spoil. Oh, how noble, oh, how dear, oh, how sweet is thy voice, O Christ, for thou hast verily made us such a promise, that thou shalt be with us to the end of time, a promise to which we believers hold, and anchor for our hopes, as we sing rejoicing with joy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Magnify, O oh my soul, the might of the indivisible, and three person Godhead. O Christ, the perfect, most exalted Pascha, O wisdom of God, His word and His power, grant us that we may partake of Thee more perfectly in Thy kingdom's day, which said if not. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, O Virgin, rejoice, rejoice, O Blessed One, rejoice. O glorified one, for thy Son is risen from the tomb on the third day. O Christ, the perfect, most exalted Pascha, O wisdom of God, his word and his power, grant us that we may partake of thee more perfectly in thy kingdom's day, which set it not. Angel speaker that is full of grace, saying, O pure virgin, rejoice, and I say also rejoice, for thy son is risen from the tomb on the third day. Shine, shine, New Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord hath risen upon thee. Rejoice and exalt now, O Zion, and thou a pure one, Theotokos, rejoice at the resurrection of thy Son. Oh, 
مقام من بين الأموات ووادي الموت بالموت وهو حب الحياة للذين في القبور بشتوس وسكر شيء مرت في سمرت يسمرت بوبرا يسو شيب بوبرا بيات شيب بوبرا بوبرا Jesus is risen from the tomb as he had foretold, and I bestow life eternal upon us in great mercy. Again and again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, 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 have Body as mortal, O thou who art Lord and King, thou didst abolish death, and as the third day thou didst surely rise, verily raising Adam from corruption, O thou incorruptible Pascal, O salvation of the world. When thou didst fall asleep in the body as mortal, O thou who art Lord and King, thou didst abolish death. And on the third day thou didst surely arise, verily raising Adam from corruption. O thou incorruptible Pascha, O salvation of the world. When thou didst fall asleep in the body as mortal, O thou who art Lord and King, thou didst abolish death, and on the third day thou didst surely rise, verily raising Adam from corruption. O thou incorruptible Pascha, O salvation of the world. And every day I breath, praise the Lord, praise the Lord in heaven, praise him in the heights. To thee, O God, is to our song, praise him, all his angelic. Praise him, all his hosts. To thee, O God, is to our song. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise the firmament of his power. We praise, O Christ, thy saving passion, glorify the resurrection. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. O thou that endure the cross and abolish death, and its rise again from the dead, and give peace to our life, O Lord, for thou only art almighty. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the soul to in heart. O thou that's the spoil hell and raise men again from the dead by thy resurrection. O Christ, make us worthy with pure hearts to praise and glorify thee. Praise him with cymbal and dance, praise him with string instruments and organs. Glorifying thy divine condescension, we praise thee, O Christ, for thou was born of a virgin, yet was not separated from the Father. Thou didst suffer as, as man, and of thine own free will endure the cross, and thou didst rise again from the tomb, going forth as from a bridal chamber, that thou mightest save the world, O Lord, glory to thee. Let God arise, and let it be scattered, and let them wait him free from before his face. Today Christ, our saving Pascha, hath been revealed unto us a noble Pascha, the Pascha new and holy, the mystical Pascha, the Pascha all august, the blameless Pascha, the great Pascha, the Pascha of the faithful, the Pascha which openeth unto us the gates of paradise, the Pascha which sanctifieth all the faithful. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish away, as wax melted before the fire. O oh, come from the vision, ye women, heralds of good tidings, and say ye unto Zion, receive from us the glad tidings of the joy of the resurrection of Christ. Rejoice, O Jerusalem, and leap for joy, and that thou be the king, like the bridegroom, come forth from the grave. 
sinners do perish from before the face of God and righteous rejoice. When the ointment bearing women stood very early in the morning before the tomb of the life giver, they found an angel sitting upon the stone, and he cried out to them, saying, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Why mourn ye the incorruptible and its corruption? Proclaim the glad tidings to his disciples. This is the day which the Lord hath made that has rejoiced and be glad there is. Joyful Pascha, the Pascha of the Lord, the Pascha all majestic has shown upon us, the Pascha on which we embrace one another with joy. Oh, what a Pascha delivering from sorrow, for today from the world to from a bridal chamber Christ shone, and had filled the women with joy, saying, Proclaim the glad tidings to the apostles. Glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and to age of ages. Amen. Today is the day of resurrection. Let us shine with the peace. Let us embrace one another. Let us say, brethren, and because of the resurrection, let us forgive all things to those who hate us. This wise exclaim, Rise is risen from the dead, trampling down dead by death, and on those in the tombs he shall shine. Rise is risen from the dead, trampling down dead by death. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down. And on those in the tombs he be show his Allah, 
Rabbuna frahu wa natahallalu bihi
through the intercession of the Theotokos, save your sins.
Otherwise, you shall let them vanish as wax melts before the fire. Perish at the presence of God and at the righteous in This is the day which the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein.
Before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You, O Lord, shall rise and have mercy on Zion. The Lord has looked upon the earth from heaven. Деяния Святых Апостолов чтение. Вони. Первую книгу написал их тебе, Феофил, о всем, что Иисус делал и чему учил от начала, до того дня, в который Он вознесся, дав Святым Духом повеление апостолам, которых Он избрал, которым явил себя живым по страданию Своем со многими верными доказательствами. Продолжение 40 дней, являясь им и говоря о Царстве Божьем. И собрав их, он повелел им не отлучаться из Иерусалима, но ждите обещанного от Отца, о чем вы слышали от меня. Ибо Иоанн крестил водою, а вы через несколько дней после всего будете крещены Духом Святым. Посему они, сойдясь, спрашивали его, говоря, «Не в себе ли время Господи, восстанавливая что Царство Израиля?» Он же сказал им, «Не ваше дело знать времена или сроки, которые Отец положил в своей власти, но вы примете силу, которая сойдет на вас, когда сойдет на вас Дух Святый, и будете мне свидетелями в Иерусалиме и во всей Иудее и Самарии и даже до края земли». Аллилуйя, аллилуйя, аллилуйя. Gracias al Señor porque eres bueno, porque es eterna en su misericordia. Ofetorio. Este es el día que ha hecho el Señor. Alegremonos y regocijémonos en él. Sabiduría. La lectura es de los hechos de los apóstoles. Semos atentos. He hablado en mi primer libro, o Teofilo, de todo lo más notable que hizo el Señor Jesús. Desde su principio hasta el día en que fue recibido en el cielo después de haber instruido por el Espíritu Santo a los apóstoles que él había escogido, a los cuales se había manifestado también después de su pasión, dándoles muchas pruebas de que vivía apareciendo soles 
en el espacio de 40 días y hablándoles de las cosas tocantes al reino de Dios y por último comiendo con ellos les mando que no partiesen de Jerusalén sino que es parecen el cumplimiento de la promesa del Padre la cual dijo estáis de mi boca y es que Juan bautizó con el agua mas vosotros habéis de ser bautizados o bañaros en el Espíritu Santo Santo dentro de pocos días entonces los que hallaban presentes le hicieron esta pregunta, Señor, si ¿sí será este el tiempo en que has de restituir el reino a Israel, a lo cual respondió Jesús, no os corresponde a vosotros el saber los tiempos y momentos que tiene el Padre reservados a su poder soberano, Recibir, recibiráis si la virtud del Espíritu Santo que descenderá sobre vosotros y me serviráis de testigos en Jerusalén y en toda la judía y Samaria y hasta el cabo del mundo. Aleluya, 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 gloria a ti, oh Dios. Peace be unto thee, attend and us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. From the Holy Gospel, Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, I proclaim by the Holy Evangelist Saint John. Let us be attentive. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that comes into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, his own received him not, but as many had received him to them, he gave power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bear witness to him and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spoke. He that come after me is preferred before me because he was before me, and of his fullness have we all received grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Oh. 
Nevertheless, for unspeakable and boundless love toward mankind that has become man, yet without change or alteration, the Lord of all does take the name of our High Priest, and deliver unto us the ministry of this liturgic and unbloody sacrifice. For thou alone, O Lord our God, who is over those in heaven and on earth, or born the throne of the cherubim, or Lord the seraphim, and King of Israel, who alone art holy and rest is my holy place. Wherefore we implore thee, O Lord, our good and ready to listen, look down upon us sinners and our profitable servants, and cleanse our souls and our hearts from an evil conscience. By the power of the Holy Spirit, enable me, whom I do over the grace of the priesthood, to stand before this our holy table and perform the sacred mystery of the holy and immaculate body and precious blood. For we draw near unto thee and bow in our necks, we pray thee. Turn not your face from us, neither cast up among thy servants, but vouchsafe that these gifts may be offered unto thee by us, thy sinful and worthy servants. For thy yourself, O he that offers and is offered, that accepts and is distributed, O Christ our God. And to thee, which cry, glory to thee, O thy Father, and thy Son, good and life, Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of all ages. Let us admit that the term is seen twice, holding him like King Kyrgyz, the Earth. She the King of all who comes invisible and learned in Jericho, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Let us admit that the term is seen twice, holding him like King Kyrgyz, the Earth. She the King of all who comes invisible and learned in Jericho, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Ayu ha ilumat kidun al sharro bim sirniyan, wa mat kidun al tasbih al mutanak tajisuhu li tuti li muhi. إن أنت كلامنا كل شيء ما أمن دنيا به لكونينا مزمين النسل كلامك الكل ما سوف أمين البرات الملائكة بخير غير منزل هاليلويا 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 In that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross we adore, Christ, in the holy resurrection, we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, we will live beside thee. We call upon thy name, O come on your faith, let us adore Christ, holy resurrection. For Lord, the cross is joy coming to all the world. And we bless you, Lord, that singing the resurrection of the name, Lord, the cross to us, and destroy death by death. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your glory, for most of my sins, but I pray for you. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, from my sins, but not from my iniquity, and zero for me. Against you only have I sinned, and even my sins must be justified in the world of my life. Behold, I will shake my sins, behold my sins, and I will shake 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 my sins, Sacrifice the Lord, and the Lord shall make you shine. No more water, but the Lord shall fire. You put all the grass and all the things of the earth. Then shall I make you the sacrifice of the righteous, the burnt offering, the whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon them also.
Like the prodigal son, I have sinned against your Savior, and seen with the repent of all that mercy on me, O God. With the voice of the Lord, I cry unto your Christ, my Savior, take pity on me as has on him, and have mercy on me, O God. Bless the Lord those who hate us and those who love us. God, wish me a sin, have mercy upon me. For God, wish me a sin, have mercy upon me. For God, wish me a sin, have mercy upon me. Alex, Adam, Owen, Luke, Richard, Gustavo, John, Stefan, Elena and family, Cindy, Dougie, David, Tatiana, Darrell, Ryan, Blaze, Arthur, Jimmy, and Gamal, Harry, Denise, Angela, Olga, Nikolai, Mike, Nadezda, Alex, Ryan, family, Felena, Chris, and family, Leanne, Janice, Dave, Eva, Jenny, Ren, Julie, Robin, Rubina, Chris, Paul, Lorraine, Mirna, Jean, Chris, Suzanne, Hubby, Vicky, Mary, Bill, Teresa, Rebecca, Gabby, Monique, Johnny, Douglas, Lori, Antoinette, Eric, Jacob, Anastasia, Clinton, Alexandra, Adelaide, Mike, Lenora, and family, Larry, Alexander, Alexandra, Sharif, Mershon, Anton, Antonella, Arthur, Sophia, Nikolai, George, and family, Edwin, Jolene, Julia, Craig, Carol, Stephen, Kirby, Eloise, Henry, John, Nanduri, Shirley and family, Cyril, Safi and family, John, Ariel, Tony, Dima, Olga, David, Anastasia, David, Uncle Mihala, all our peers of the war in Palestine, Ukraine, and Syria, all homeless and faithful and saints, Lord, 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 Lord,
May the Lord God remember them in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Fathers Andrew, Pedro, and Constantine, Ego Manjane, Mother Isabella, Maria Virginia, Mukarram, George, Joya, Adib, Yevgeny, Lulu, Rose, Within, Paul, Sugi, Toda, Marcel, Helen, Lorraine, Hilda, Artem, Zineda, the part of the LA family, King, Fekha, Randy, Kelly, May Elias, Mama Alice, Edgar Douglas, and all departed loved ones of St. George, Orthodox Church. May the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of all ages. We are going to be the most important of the world, and we are going to be the most important of the world, and we are all of you. And all of you Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember you in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of all ages. Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. All the precious gifts now over, let us pray to the Lord. To this holy house and for those with faith, reverence, and the fear of God into the rim, let us pray to the Lord. Our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace and faithful God and God of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Our giving of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. for our souls and peace for the world that us ask of the Lord. Amen. 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 That we may continue to make our life in peace and repentance that us ask of the Lord. Amen. 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 Good defense for the faithful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. All in true remembrance of our holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Unto Christ our God. God, the Son, which we know are blessed, together and only good and like in spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Let us love.
love one another that with one accord we may confess Christ is with us. He is and always shall be. Christ is risen, 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 Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christos anesti. Christos anesti. Christos anesti. Christos was crescent. Christos was crescent. Christ is risen. 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 Christos was crescent. Christos was crescent. Christos was crescent. Christos was crescent. Christ is risen. Christ is risen, Christos and Esquitata, Christos on the earth, Christos on the earth, Christ is risen, Christos on the earth, Christos on the earth, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christos was crest, Christos and Esquitata, Christos and Esquitata, Christ is risen. Christ is risen, Christ is risen. I will love the Lord my strength, the Lord is my firm foundation, my refuge and my deliverer. I will love the Lord my strength. The Lord my firm foundation, my refuge and my deliverer. I will love the Lord my strength. The Lord is my firm foundation, my refuge and my deliverer. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men, and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us in the Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to scriptures and ascended into heaven and to the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the mission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand to right. Let us stand with you. Let us attend. To offer the holy oblation in peace. The air. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our
to ye, the triumphal hymn shouting, proclaiming, and saying, with these blessed knowledge of also Matthew and Matthew, 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 Matth
Bless your all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Thank you and ask God to bless you, punish you, and fill you always with his love and his grace. Amen. For the Holy Prophet, for and Baptist John, and all the Holy Apostles and Saints, who supplicate and visit us, O God, and be mindful, O Lord, of those who departed the life before us, especially others Andrew, Pedro, and Constantine, Uman Jane, Mother Isabella, Priya Virginia, Mukata, George, Roya, Adi, Yevgeny, Lulu, Rose, Suzanne, Paul, Suhi, Toto, Marcel, Helen, Lorraine, Hilda, Arctan, Zaneda, the Barton, the Larry family, Hindi, Zeta, Gregory, Cameron, Frank, Elias, Mama Alice, Edgar Douglas, and all the part of the Saints, and all the part of the Church. And grant them rest to our God, and light like captains, watch over them. And again, we receive the mind of our every Christian or Orthodox, and write you by the word of the Church. Of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Yaki, and Christ, and the High Rider, and the Master of God. And again, we offer this reason of worship for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those who have chastened in God and their blood. For all souls of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord, and 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 among them, for you, my Lord, and my dear brother, Mr. Abba, who does our well and for you, please save the honor of the main days, and write me your body and your word of life, you. And those who open these precious holy gifts, Lord, our God, and our friends, for you, the Jack and Christ, for you, peace the order, and for their salvation, the peace of the whole world, the good of the Lord, Church of God, the salvation, the help of the people, your brethren, and those whom they are remembering. And all men are mine. He conceived in us, he conceived in us, so the book is so the book of the Lord. Lord, if we think more, so he are the most fundamental day. To not have been seen more magnificent, or no more than bad, or the living more than the spirit of the Santo. Or as if we follow the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Este te iré, tu me gano de don, que so tiri simón, y son cristón, me atapantón, y mon. Et ochi ti pominito, y yare si yare po, pasi don nulo y se nevo po. Now offer and sanctify, let us pray to the Lord. Our God, 
God who loves mankind is the one who has heaven and the altar as an order of spiritual sweetness will send down upon us from our grace the gift of the Spirit. Let us pray. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now to aid the age of I believe, O Lord, that I confess that Thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is commended to the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. And I believe that this is the magnet of God and the truth of the first place. Wherefore, I pray, have mercy upon me, forgive my transgressions. Both God and Church are on the road to your good and your deed of knowledge of the big ones. And make me more than the king without a condemnation that can make me the big ones. On the reason of my sin, and to the light of my eyes. Amen. Of thy mercy, mercy of God, God, accept the days and communicate. While I'll not speak to the baby, and not the mother, like you, these kids, and you, Judas. But like the thief, like the best thing, remember me, O Lord, Lord, like the king. Not to judge you, not to make sure you might partake of the Holy Spirit, but the healing of the soul of God. 
Behold, those who are to the great 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 Forgive your Lord all my transgressions. The precious and holy blood of our body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ is imparted unto me the unworthy priest John. Precious and holy blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Is imparted to me the unworthy priest John. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. of the Holy Spirit. Unto the remission of my sins and unto life everlasting. Lord, this has touched my lips and shall take away iniquities and purge away all of my sins.
all of those here present who are members of the Orthodox Church and who have received the forgiveness of their sins in the sacrament of absolution, I invite you to come forward to receive the precious body and blood of Christ our Lord. All other Christians are invited to come forward to receive the peace of the blessed altar bread. When coming forward to either the Holy Communion or the blessed altar bread, please remember to bow to the person right behind you, showing that we are asking for one another to give us whatever sins we may or may not have committed that we know we do not know. Those who are receiving communion are asked to please place their hands across their chest in this manner, so that I know they are receiving the communion. Those who are receiving the peace of the altar bread, please place their hands in this position. When you have received either the communion or the peace of the bread, please remain to your left or my right over here as a group, united together to the body and blood of Christ our Lord and His Father. With the fear of God, with faith, and with love, draw ye near. The first time of our Lord, we are to take Jesus Christ, for the church of God, 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 for the church of God. Thank 
Faz de Jesus. Faz de Jesus. Faz de Jesus.
and every partake of divine, heavenly, holy, immortal, life-giving eternity of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. As we that this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. Our sanctification to be prescribed glory, thanksgiving, and worship. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever, and unto the ages of all ages. Let us go forth. Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctify those who put their trust in thee. Save thy people and bless them and hold them to preserve the force of thy church, sanctify those who are the of thy grace. Glorify them and recompense them in thy power and forsake us not to hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, thy church, and the priests who all serve thy concourse and all thy faithful. But be good and perfect in the above and down to the Lord of thy grace. To thee be thy glory for receiving worship. For all the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. St. John Christ, the divine Master of great world, St. St. Jesus, have mercy on us for as much, much as he is good and loves mankind. Christos 
Christos resurrectus es. Messiah who come. Christos a resuscitado. Ameno Christo. Christi on jail. Christos resurrects Sabaititei. Christ is risen. Let us go and buy it through the resurrection. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down dead by dead, and on those in the tombs he bestows life. Would ask at this time would you all please take out one of the yellow laminate cards so that we could pray the post communion prayers and thanksgiving together.
worthy to stand in the right hand of thy glory. Through the intercession of thine all that are saints, and of all the saints. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for your resurrection. We thank you for your birth. We thank you for all the blessings that you have given to us. We thank you, O Lord, for this divine liturgy, this resurrection, so that we may be drawn closer to you through your will and your peace and unity. I ask, O Lord, the words that you would like imparted to your faithful children here gathered. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'd like to take out one of the Bibles. You can open up to page. 918. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ was proclaimed by the Holy Evangelist St. John. The first chapter, the 10th verse reads, He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. As long as the world, it's very, you know, we had somebody here this week and gave a little talk and they said you know what you said was was really very uh, profound i didn't think it was profound i thought it was just what we should be telling people as long as the world looks to itself for its existence it will not know christ now we had an interesting thing happen this evening and i'm sure that i will get a notification from the city of orlando and i'm just looking for it I'm expecting to hear from the city. The policeman was videoing us. Of course, you're not allowed to have an open flame in Lake Leona Park. Drug addiction, alcohol abuse, abuse of people physically, that you can do at Lake Leona Park. But walking with a candle, we have to have a permit for that. Well, I'm looking for it. I'm expecting it because what we are in is we are proving what we have known for many, 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 many centuries, not just now. The world does not see Jesus Christ because the world only looks at itself. People today and for a long time, but it's getting worse. Everything is about me. What I want, what I need, what I should have, it's all about me. This is the me generation. I don't mean generation Z, I'm talking about the last 50 to 100 years. Everything is about me. So as long as the world looks only to itself, it will not know Christ. As long as people make Christ in their own image, then they will never know him. I read yesterday about some, and I mentioned it last night, oh, some group from the Midwest. I don't know why the Midwest of this country produces some of these really oddball groups but one group said that Jesus is telling them about the end of the age that's ridiculous they asked you that when will these things happen he said only the father knows so it can't be Jesus that's telling them about the end of the age it's got to be the devil not Jesus so as long as we and what have we done not we in the Orthodox Church. That's why the Orthodox Church is so wonderful. The Orthodox Church never made Jesus in man's image. But that's what a lot of Christianity has done. It's made Jesus into what they want him to be. We had people that portray Jesus as some sort of a crusader. And I've told you this before, but I, I always enjoy, in case anybody hasn't heard this, because it is so astounding the Ku Klux Klan, when they're going to lynch somebody, which is usually a black person, and they put a cross in front of where they're doing it, and they light the cross on fire. Do you know what that light represents to them? The light of Christ. What kind of Christ are you talking about? That this is his light, this is his way to kill people, because of the color of their skin. This is not Christ. This is what they want Christ to be. The worldliness blinds people to seeing Jesus Christ. 
Today I sent out a text to a lot of people because I thought that maybe, especially our new members, that they would not know that the liturgy was tonight. They might think it was tomorrow, that would be the resurrection liturgy tomorrow. So I was texting a lot of people. And most of them were very appreciative. But someone, I remember one person said, I can't come because I have to go to a wedding. Well, that reminded me of the story when uh, the man says to Jesus, I will follow you, but I have to go bury my father first. Nothing should be in front of Jesus Christ. But we live in a world where everything is in front of Jesus Christ. And that is why people are blinded to seeing Jesus Christ. They don't see, they don't understand who Jesus Christ is. Jesus Christ is a name to them. And we've told people, because we're a very evangelical community, we've told people, if you're going to talk to people, don't talk to them about Jesus Christ. Because people already have some idea of what they think Jesus Christ is, and it's usually either incorrect or it's not complete. It goes on and says in verse 12, But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God, to those who believe in his name. To truly receive Christ is not a one-time experience. If I ask for a show of hands, in fact, I will ask for a show of hands. Anyone who was baptized at this church in the last year, please put your hand up. And I know who you are if you're not putting your hand up. It's not a one-time experience. It's not one of these things when you go up, you say, I accept Jesus as my personal savior and I'm done it's not what it is and every one of those people that put their hands up and others when they get baptized I do not tell them did I tell you Clay you were orthodox now no nobody in this room is orthodox nobody in this room is always correctly praising God that's what the word means orthodoxo in Greek means correct praise Nobody, starting with me, is always correctly praising God. So nobody here is actually orthodox. We are on the process, on the road to becoming orthodox. Baptized, do not become orthodox. Baptism places you on the path of growing into correct praise of God, on that path. Well, you know, I realize that if you get on the path, and you stop, you never get to where you were trying to get to. So it is an ongoing reality. There is no point. And if you think that when you're on that path, that the devil is going to leave you alone? Oh, I can hear the devil now. I can't go near you because you've been baptized. Really? You really think that the devil gives up that easily? You think that the devil took over this world that easily? It's constant. You say, well, if I don't get baptized, if I don't join the church, maybe the devil will leave me alone. Really? The devil is not going to leave you alone. The life is not going to leave you alone. Things will always come up. The tile will be flat. Your boss will fall. You got to go to work. You got to do this. You gotta do this. That's going to happen all the time. So I tell people, I say, you know what? It's a matter of priorities. I will tell you if you haven't figured it out yet. I'm sick. I don't know if I got a cold. I flu, I don't know. And there was a part of, where's the subdeacon? I told subdeacon Charles Patrick, I said, Charles, I may get a little bit woozy. Didn't I tell you that? I said, in case, I don't, I'm not well. I don't know, I'm not going to have a disease. I, I probably got a cold or something. But after all that, I'm not looking for sympathy, by the way. I'm really not just trying to explain to you. Okay, but I said, Lord, please strengthen me that no matter what my body is telling me, I would like to be able to complete this liturgy because we have all these faithful people here. So people, and, and let me give you another one. What is a very popular, let me see if Bruni, you may or not know this. What is, what, what is the most popular, now think, the most popular religious name for Spanish men? The most popular religious name for Spanish men. Do you know what I'm talking about? That's it. Jesus? Jesus? Right? Why would somebody name their son Jesus? Well, I'll tell you why I think they named him Jesus. Because they're praying that their son, who they have named after Jesus, will grow into the name. So when we tell people, 
were orthodox. Orthodox is not a noun. It's not a noun. Orthodox really is a, actually a verb, a way you're supposed to live your life. Okay? So when we tell people I'm orthodox, be very careful. You'd be better off to say it would be a good witness to yourself and others that you're trying to be orthodox. Right? Suzanne, right? Trying to be orthodox. I'm trying to be orthodox. People named Jesus, I don't know if, someday we may have a president named Jesus, okay? And they'll probably say, you've got to change your name because that name is too religious to be the president of the United States, something ridiculous like this. But the point is that it says here, to those who believe in his name, I believe in his name. I stood here before, I was feeling a little bit, not you know, very strong, not very, I didn't feel well. And I believe in his name. I could have a pain sometimes. You get lots of pain when you get to my age. And I'll feel a little wince of that. And you know what I do? You know what I do, Vicky? I make that cross. Because I believe in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe in his strength. I believe in his love for us. And finally it says in verse 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, dwelt and dwells among us. Alex, I know you a long time. Alex, is there anything that you might be seeing here that if someone was an Orthodox might not see? Is there anything that you might be seeing here that someone who's not Orthodox doesn't see anything, you know what I'm talking about? Right, I'm sure. Well, besides the icon, no, because they could see the icons. Something that you would, could see that they would not see or might not see. See Jesus Christ. You see Jesus Christ. Yeah, the icons help, you're right. The icons help. But if the icon is just a painting, I had two little old ladies came in, uh, the church one day I was here, and they said to me, oh, this could be a museum of art. I said, what? They said, this could be a museum of art. I said, no, this is not art. This is not art. The icons are not art. They're not decoration. Okay, they're meaningful. For example, I'll tell you, if you look behind you, I'm going to walk all the way, I want you to see something. I want to see, look, you see how much I really believe about these things. Now, if you look at the pillars of this building, every pillar has an American Orthodox saint, from St. Raphael Halloweeny all the way down to all the American. But we had, I think there's maybe, I'm going to guess, 12 pillars, but we only had 11 American Orthodox saints. So they said, what are you going to do on this pillar? I said, well, this man, Father Nicola Yanni, who was, I believe, living in the Midwest someplace back in the last century during the Spanish flu, I think he's going to someday be recognized as a saint. This man who was married with children. He would minister to all these different farmers in his area. He would maybe take a horse back and go confess them and bring them Holy Communion. And his wife and his children all died from the Spanish flu. And he kept going. Family's gone. The wife went first. He had to take care of those little children. They died. He kept going. Until he finally was taken with the Spanish flu and he died. So I said, well, we got him up there. It says Father, does it say Saint? We don't know if he's a saint. I think he's a saint, but I'm not the one that makes that decision or that recognition. The point is that we see things that other people don't see. Look at your younger people, people that got baptized this year. If you ask almost any of them what their friends who are not members of the Orthodox Church or don't go to church, what they think about them coming to church, they'll tell you, what? Am I right, Clay? You go to what? You do what? I go to church. What? When you leave, if you want to see an example, I'm saying, when you go up, if you park behind the church, you're going to go up Wall Street, 
You're going to make a right, hopefully because you can't make a left on Magnolia. And make a left over on Washington Street. I was Washington Street. Make a left and go up to Orange Avenue. And then make a left. Drive down Orange Avenue. See all these young people crowded together on a Saturday night. Looking for some kick, looking for some high, whatever it might be. Same thing. And I know, because we rent our spaces in the parking lot, and sometimes uh, we, we get cash apps, and the cash app I see, who, and lots of times people have pictures on their cash app. Every picture that I see, and almost all of them are girls, they're in some sort of a suggestive pose of, hey, look at me. Check me out. See me. Aren't I great? That's the me mentality. We are called to drown our sinfulness in his blood and thus be born anew in his love. I spoke to somebody today for their confession and they told me, you know, the things that are going on in their life. And, you know, we, we wind up doing things that we don't want to do. I've heard this from people many times. Like St. Paul said, I don't do the things I want to do and I do the things that I don't want to do. How do you get away from that? You drown it. You drown it in the blood of Jesus Christ. You drown it. Don't try and compromise. Don't try and say, ah, this is a thing. I told this story before, if you don't mind, if you've heard of it, but I think it's very cute. It's a, it's a kind of a Lebanese joke. You know, in the old country, and still in many parts of the world, parents arrange the marriages of their daughters or their sons, which might make a lot more sense, because we'd have a lot less divorce if parents were the ones who chose who their children would marry, because their parents know their children. But of course, we don't do that anymore. But over there, they did. So this family, they had a son. They wanted to get him married. There were no eligible girls in the little village they lived in. But they heard that in the next village, there was a man that had three eligible daughters. OK? Three. So the man said to his wife, let's go check him out. Let's go see who it is. So they go. Well, you know, in that culture, when you come to visit, the first thing they offer you is like a cigarette. OK. So the first girl comes out, and she's walking like this. And the father says, what, what's the story about her? He said, oh, she's a wonderful girl. She's a little bit crippled, but it's not much. It doesn't really affect her too much. Well, after the cigarettes comes that, excuse me, that god-awful coffee. And it's the next one coming with the coffee, and she's going. So the father says to her father, he says, what's the story with her? He says, she's a little bit blind, but it doesn't really affect her that much. It's okay, just a little bit. Well, then they bring you some candy to kill the taste of the coffee. And this girl walks in, she's like drop dead gorgeous. I mean, this girl's really, as these guys might say, hot, she's in the reality, she's in. They look at that girl and they say, oh man. They said, what's the story about her? And her father says, well, she's a little bit pregnant, but it doesn't really make much difference. She's fine. There's no such thing as a little bit sinful. Because even though it may seem minor, it will grow and it will possess and it will carry you to where you do not want to go. And the only way you can get away from that is a revulsion of that sin, looking to see what it's doing to you. If we don't do that, then we are going to be condemned to repeat it over and over and over again. We say over and over again at this time of the year and for the next 40 days, Christ is risen. Are we in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? Let us pray to the Lord. The blessed of the Lord is mercy come upon you is grace and love towards man, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Lord, 
reveal Christ from the glory to thee. May he who rose again from the dead for the sake of our salvation, Christ our true God. Since one of the Mac and the Holy Mother, by the power of the first blood, of course, the Christian Mother's power, we have in supplication the glory of the whole mother of John, holy glory of the Epitaurus Martyr, the St. George, the Trophy Bearer, Patron Saint of the Holy Church, the Chapel of God, Brain Paul, the St. John, greeted him. We do honor and celebrate all saints in England, have most fun, serious words, much as good and loveless mankind. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen.
Do we offer a hymn of praise? 